How do you fancy painting Wren in watercolour? Now let me show you some clips from my main Patreon video on how I painted some of the Wren's feathers. Let's make a start. Now one of the things I like to do before start painting is test out some of the colours which I can see within the photograph. Obviously for the wren I'm looking at different browns and uh, things like siennas like burnt sienna, raw sienna, burnt umber and even a mixture of, sort of lamp black in there as well. So lots of testing first is what I always recommend before you go to the main painting. Now I'm looking at the painting and I'm kind of working out from the photograph where I've got to add the darker details. I mean so far on the painting as you can see I've, I've kind of put a few layers on there already. Still not quite there yet. I've still got to think about the different kind of um, depths of tone. So I've got the light layers, I've got the mid-tone layers. Now I'm getting some of the darker layers on there as well. All the way from the foundation wash. In fact, when you look at the, uh, the bottom, <laughs> the bottom of the rim, you can see where I've added a bit of a foundation wash to begin with. And it's that foundation wash, as you can see, which I prefer to kind of build on top of as I go along. I'm looking at the veins within the feathers. I'm trying to think about the shape and all the little textures that you can see in there. But one thing I do make sure of as well is looking at the direction that all the brush strokes have got to go into. Actually, if you fancy having a go at painting this wren all the way through from start to finish, pop along to my Patreon channel, I've got it on there. And there's no voiceover, it's just real time, my painters I chat and talk, if you know what I mean. So come and join me and have a go at painting the wren all the way through from start to finish. So I'll continue with this now. Now I'm looking at where all the wing feathers tend to fall over the kind of primary feathers on the wren. And as actually one more thing about the wren as well is that there's all these little tiny marks, all these vertical kind of horizontal, vertical and horizontal strikes. So what they actually are, you know, you've got the vertical lines going down there, but you've also got to think about how these tend to fold on top of one another. So that would mean that some of the lines in between would need to be darker in places, sometimes thinner, sometimes thicker, kind of wider. Because you've got to think about how a feather would lay on top of another feather. One thing I tend to use a lot of is my double zero brush. Now this is, um, I'm not on commission so don't worry, this, <laughs> this is a Winsor Newton Cotsman Series 111, okay, size double zero. So if you're interested in having a look for that, I've got some links down below uh, within my main content. If not, have a look at my website and you'll find there's a link on there to go to, so you can go and get one if you want one. They're not expensive, it's a synthetic brush. Um, and, but it tends to give not too much bounce and I quite like that so you've got a bit more control over the marks in which you make. One of the kind of characteristics I find about the Wren as well is that on the wings you can see there's a lot of little white marks. Now I will use, in a bit, a bit later on, some watercolour white in the main video. You don't see that on this part, I know, but you will see it in the main video. And by adding watercolour white, that will really kind of bring out, you have a bit more kind of zing, whatever word you want to call it, uh, sparkle, <laughs> a bit more 3D kind of feel to the wren. And it's getting there slowly now, but still needs that little bit of extra detail. Sometimes you don't have to use watercolour white if you don't like it. Lifting paint off is one way of doing it as well. You can do it that way around by using the lifting off technique. Again, I do show people that within my main videos on how to do that, how to remove paint, but by doing it in a fine and minute detail. The thing is as well, when you're loading a brush up, a double zero brush like I've got here, you have to load it up in the sense of, load it, then take a bit of paint off, okay? So you gotta think from that kind of thing. If you don't, when you go to the main painting, such as this Ren, the soon, as soon as you touch the tip of your double zero brush onto the painting, you get quite a bit of a blob of paint. So always take off by tapping it once on a piece of tissue. Just that little bit of paint. Just give your, the tip of your brush a little bit more sharpness and also the finer of marks 
as well because uh, as you know I like to kind of work in the finest of detail well as fine as I can possibly go anyway. I wanted painting to be able to look kind of realistic but not photographic because otherwise I might as well just take a photograph I know. <laughs> How dark is it? How far underneath the other wings does it go? So it's all these things that's come from my mind whilst I'm painting this. So this will give you some ideas, just some basic ideas on how I painted this red in watercolour. And all through a lot of layers, many layers of detail, building gradually to get darker and darker as you would normally do with a watercolour way. Okay? So I hope you enjoyed this, it's only a short preview. So that's just some hints and tips on how I paint the wren's feathers in watercolour. Now if you fancy having a go at this and working on a complete video tutorial, I'll guide you through step by step showing you a variety of techniques on how to do that. I'll also give you the outline drawing, the PDF guide and the photograph to work from as well. To find out more, just simply click on the links below. And remember to click on like, subscribe and share. And of course, you can always comment down below as well. Now the question of the day is, do you use watercolour white? If so, which one do you use? Let me know, put it in the comments below and I'll talk to you all again very soon.